What's up, everybody? It's Dude Nemo Re right back in the building, bringing you the latest in the news and hip hop, sports, and entertainment. And this is kind of a, a good day for everybody. I would love to say that look, everybody, we are almost at a thousand subscribers. So we would like to take the time out to thank each and everybody that come out here and rock out with us each and every time we drop a video. Even if it's just y'all coming in and liking the video or commenting on the video or subscribing. We would like to thank each and everybody who rock out with us on a daily basis. But we got a video today. We will be discussing Corey Holcomb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Corey Holcomb on the 5150 show. He won live last night. And they were discussing men being rejected. Yeah, man. And this is video clip of this man being rejected. And he posted it on social media. And he got a lot of hits on this video. So Corey Holcomb and the team, they broke the video down. And we finna get into that whole video. And I'll give y'all my commentary in the end. Y'all off. Okay. Already? You know what? Y'all saw this lane? You haven't even heard him say anything. I don't know. Who you saw the lane? No. no. You ain't seen this video? Nope. Wait till you hear this video. It is. Okay. Oh my God. Hold on. And yes. Can you play it? it? Are we gonna get in trouble for playing? No, it's not. It's public safety. Go ahead. So I just left the restaurant after waiting 30 minutes for a date to show up. And apparently I got stood up. I don't know what to say. I'm trying to do everything right to be a gentleman. I brought flowers. I've been consistent talking to this girl for two weeks. Trying to get to know what she likes, what she doesn't like. I made plans. I booked the restaurant the day at the time. You know, I've done everything to be. Just the kind of guy that would value somebody's time. Like, I just, I'm just looking for my person. I'm just looking for the one that, I guess, is out there for me. I mean, I want to be somebody's husband someday, father. I'm trying to do everything that's right. I can't just get stood up. Like, my feelings don't even matter. Sitting there eating a meal by myself and realizing that nobody even cares about people anymore. Like, Elliot and Jaden shouldn't be the. Before he was cut off, he said dating shouldn't be this hard, brother. That is what I want to say. A lot of this stuff sometimes would be setups. Yeah. But I just want to say, if you ever see a man talking like that, that man is gonna kill somebody one day. Yeah. That man is to cut dude off. Yeah, can y'all cut dude off? To be that age and to just be and to not know that life comes with certain child and a dating? Just because you got stood up, bless it. Ooh, What's man, that's that's crazy. That's more than bless his heart. Y'all probably didn't notice while he was talking. One of the eyes was still scanning oh, the room with the whole girl. Like, right. Bless his heart. <laughs> it was. This nigga sitting in the wheelchair, bro. I can't. I want you to stop. That, that's that's why it's so close. Yeah, it's got to be. I don't think people know the danger of people like that. People who cry for nothing. Yeah. Like. Well, he's an older gentleman too, so that's quite scary. Cause it's like by now you haven't been through how many other experiences. Bro. I mean, I'm scared of niggas who can't uh, accept rejection. That that's the, that's the scary shit. Yeah, Motherfucker that can't accept rejection is bound to do some fucked up shit to somebody. And he not only said she was messed up, he threw everybody. Did you hear that when he was like? Everybody's just so messed up. Nobody cares me. Nobody. What's that have to do with homegirls standing you up? Right, right, that's that's sad. Guys like that will hurt somebody. They can't hurt you just like like they, like they can't hurt a man. Cause you know what I'm saying. They walk up on a man. They gonna be Mortal Kombat and it's gonna be what it is. But I'm saying like guys like that will sneak you. That nigga, I got you, busy. I can't. Like, what do you say when he put it in there? Look like me. She <laughs> probably <laughs> on Facetime and seen that I wonder. It was like, nah, I can't, I can't do this. I want to let dude know if you're watching this, man. Listen, you are mentally destroyed. Yeah. Go get some help. You need to not be in public with the rest of us. Something wrong with you if you're crying on a video for the world to see and you grown. Right. When, when, when people see you cry, they supposed to know something wrong. Yeah. When, when, when you cry, it's because oh my God, something got to him. It, 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 it's something very emotional. Should be something. If you emotional, cry all the right. time as a man. I ain't gonna lie, man. It's, it, I don't know what makes a man cry all the time. Like somebody say, well, when are you supposed to cry? Or when are you supposed to just, you're just supposed to hold it in forever. I'm not saying you're supposed to hold it in forever, but what I'm saying is, you crying because a girl stood you up and you look like you need the money. That girl did you a favor. What if he had to pay for the date? She wasn't gonna give you none, dude. Hmm. Men are only supposed to cry when something's inside of them. <laughs> oh lord. Or they're inside of something. Like a shot or something, right? Yeah, so shot, uh, like, anytime something uh, pouring out to get into your body, that's the code for a man to cry. You know that's, I mean? that's real, Craig. That's the only time. Ain't nothing supposed to go in you as a man. <laughs> nothing. I, I just think it's ridiculous. Except knowledge, nigga. <laughs> what about a tongue in your head? <laughs> uh, 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 there's different types yeah, of I know you don't stop it, Craig. <laughs> you light skin. I didn't have a tongue in my ass before. There's different types of cries, though, too. There's cries for joy. Cry, I cry. And when I laugh so hard, I can't even help it. It just, like, it just seems. No up. man should ever feel, feel bad about being rejected by a woman at all. Any man can get a bitch. Oh, here we go. Any man in the world can get a woman. Not that nigga. She can't. Let him that nigga have paper, paper. He'll get a bitch. He can go uh, overseas and get a bitch. The passport brother. He can be a passport brother. They don't give a fuck what you look like. Any, yeah, you can buy a bitch. Buy a, a pussy. Huh? Yeah. Buy a pussy. Man, at the end of the day, the nigga wants. You say buying a day ain't what? Buying a pussy is not getting a woman. It's, it's 
is a man for pussy. That's right. That but that's what he wants. That is a great debate question. Yeah. What you just said. Are you saying buying pussy is not getting a woman? No, no that's just having some second opinion for sex. Yeah, get, get a woman. Get you a woman. Her up. Yeah, get Subject to your will. So what if you got a woman and you've been buying pussy for five years? Are you going to tell me you still ain't got the bitch? Nah, it's because as soon as you stop buying pussy, you can literally buy a bitch life. Jeez. You can you can literally purchase a bitch. Hey, uh-huh. do you think paying for a bitch is different than being in a relationship with a bitch yes. where you think you're not paying for the bitch? I'm asking you. Yeah, I do think it's a little bit different. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's a little bit different because because when you just <laughs> buying a bitch, it's it's different. There's no strings attached. You feel what I'm saying? But what if you buy a bitch and she have a baby by you? I mean, most relationships are transactional. What's the difference between a bitch that's pregnant by you that you bought or that you thought you had the relationship? Because the bitch with? that's pregnant by you can actually affect your life in a negative way. That's what I'm just saying to you. All bitches who pregnant in America are a detriment to people who are trying to do things. <laughs> <laughs> That's why other animals oh. tuck them off somewhere. Animals kill the baby boys yeah. because they don't want to get flooded later on by the most. This is a toxic word. Step kids. Right. Step kids is a toxic word, and the reason I say step kids. Now look here, look here, bro, look here. Come and have a seat with dude and them discussing. Yeah, yeah. I want you to have a seat with us, cause we finna break this down, and we finna, we finna just. Let you know how this shit go. Now, I'm gonna try to get into the biblical terms, y'all, without getting into the biblical terms, if you understand what I mean. Look, bro, I know you're having a hard time right now finding people, and I know it seems like the world is against you. But look at here, look at here. God would not put things in your life that don't need to be put in your life. That's just simple as it is. That's just how things is, and that is life. God would not put things in your life or people in your life that don't need to be in your life. Because if that girl probably would have been in your life, she probably would have took you down through that, my boy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's probably a good thing she didn't show up. Now that's, and that's real talk from dude number the team. But let me know in the comment box below what y'all think about Corey Hulk and them and what they had to say about the situation. And if this is your first time to the channel, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button on your way out. This dude, I'm in the building. And we'll see y'all on the next one. Yeah.